Hello, this is Vishal and uh, now we have another tutorial that is called your MVVM Recycler View. So today I want to show to you how we can use this MVVM approach to our Recycler View. But before that, I am very thankful to all who subscribe me and watching my videos uh, continuously and curious more about the MVVM approach. And I really appreciate the comments. Uh, and uh, just simply say thank you so much and in uh, future i will give you more videos related to mevm and other firebase yeah will continue in this tour with me okay uh, now this is a recycler view and today we are working on this as you work with recycler view most of you and those who are new with recycler view how we can use this simple recycler view and how we can bind it with the mvvm approach we discriminate both the things so this is a long video but i have to show to you that a simple recycler view how we can work in it and other thing is how we can use our uh, MVVM binding approach for that so as uh, this is on my screen this is a simple recycler view here and I want to make a layout uh, top of the news headings and below is the description as you see uh, as you watched my previous tutorial in which I have used the list view binding there okay what we needed for that we need a recycler view we need a inner layout we need a one pozo class that is for the news that is our model and also we, we need a custom adapter to buy uh, to, to, to use this inner layout and then uh, make it here I mean to show it here on the recycler view so that is a simple four things we want for that and what happened when we use MVVM so here the same thing be but here we have applied the funda of view model so we no need of this to make a find view by ids with the title and description we simply bind this data and directly get access the things by the view model everything should be view model here so uh, but I, I want to show to you these two this uh, discrimination but one by one so first uh, 15 minutes I will show to you that how we can use a simple recycler view those who don't know about this recycler view they can uh, skip this 15 minutes and then go for the MVVM approach but those who want to be the basic things from start from the scratch so I will des describe it uh, in both the ways okay so now we have to continue uh, on our Android studio be practical okay now this is our android studio and we have to work on simple recycler view those who know recycler view that's easy otherwise i will just uh waste 20 minutes for in recycler view because of mvvm is based on this uh, basic uh, recycler view so first what is the difference basic difference so uh, I, I want to show to you what is mvvm and what is simple so this is uh, our app compact you just copy it and paste it and make it a recycler view with the same version of as your app compact and this is your sync now hope you have uh, already been you new versions of this uh, 26 and more about that but here I'm working with 26.1.0 okay so this is fine it's a construct layout i don't want that at this time i want a simple linear layout and i don't want be this text view here beside this we have a recycler view on our main activity match parent wrap content and give some id to this just like a recycle okay and one more thing we needed for that that is called your scroll bars and i want with this vertical scroll bars because of it works on both kind of if you want be a horizontal view you can make it 
if you want the vertical view you can because of our list is at no vertical so i'm using this so that's we are fine our simple recycler be ready and here our main activity and in which i have to access this recycler view so you can see that we have a recycler view and this recycler view i want me to get access using the find view by id so this is your r dot id dot recycle so first uh, thing is finished that is our recycler view on our activity now we go for the second one that is our model because of we have to create the inner layout based on our model and later we have to create our model view that's also be based on our model okay so here you can make a package everything should be in a well form so we can access it everywhere so this is your um, news this is our news puzzle and for that i want be a public string and this public string we want a uh, as a mm, title and description okay now just very simple as we did many times in my previous tutorial make a constructor one passing other one is your without passing and third one is your get to setters for both see our model be ready now we have to go for our uh, inner layout because of that is based on this model so if you see this we need a title and description in an inner layout which we have to render on your main activity uh, recycler view okay so for this we have to go for layout and here i am saying that this is our new layout and this new layout is called your inner layout make it fast little so what to do it's a very simple make it again a linear layout and because of yeah here we make a wrap content height because of otherwise if we have a big um, match parent value that means we have we, it, it complete on com, uh, in, in first screen complete screen is for only the first item be there so uh, we do not need one uh, we do not want that so we make it a wrap content because of up to that value it show to it show in a list simply okay because of uh, i have seen on a stack overflow there is some um, questions put up just like uh, we don't see the screens on your recycler view as an we have only a single item likewise that this kind of stuff so uh, that is the inner layout uh, maybe some fault on that or see okay so orientation be vertical and i want be the background background be color ascent or uh, no i don't want to make it a blue color primary okay and now uh, I want a two text view one for a heading and other one for a description ID that is your title ID yeah title well okay and this is your uh, text size make it a 20 DP and text color uh, I will change it mm. I want to make it a white so this is your text and this is your white so that's fine and also be the top margin 10 dp that simple and also i have i want with the margin here i want want with the margin here that 
that is also time decay and uh, padding if you want to go for that is also be 10 dp okay just copy paste it nothing else mm -hmm. this is your dsc well and i want be the text size as uh, Fourteen DP. What happened here? Sorry. Yeah, that is your fourteen DP. Okay. And margin top again the same. Uh, one more thing uh, that is the heading should be as in bold. Now, these to be we have to render in our adapter. So our news pozo be ready our inner layout be ready our main activity recycler view be ready one more thing we have to put it that is called your adapter so that is the most important thing everything should be we have to put in the code by the adapter so first the same make a package for the adapter code also be a uh, well defined so can we can access each and every class in a right folder. So that is your custom um, adapter. Okay, make it a custom adapter. And here I want to extend it as a adapter. So before giving the adapter class, I mean or adapter method, I just make a public class to access the values of inner layout text view be in the class and I want the adapter for which class so make a class custom view and that extends be your view holder type okay and here make it a uh, super so here you can see that your class be ready and here you have to pass uh, as a custom view because of we have to render these things be in our adapter alt enter implement methods these three methods be here very simple now this is our custom adapter okay and what to do we have to access the list values list news values be here so make a list of news as in the news list alt enter alt enter this is our array list and uh, i want with the item of this news list dot size kind because of if there be a 10 elements in our news array list then we have to put it this array list on be here okay that's be fine that's be fine okay now we have to uh, access this uh, inner layout how we can access it it's very simple you have to get uh, access this view view is your layout inflator that's very good class to inflate from this and I want with the inflate our parent get context and dot your inflate r dot which kind of layout I want be the layout of inner view sorry inner layout that's be our uh, parent and third parameter we have to put it as in a false i think all know about this if you have any issue you can you can ask me okay now i think it wants something alt enter import the class now everything is fine so when you return this value i want with the return using as a new custom view and this is your view that means when we access this class it render it in a new custom view forms okay so this is our class everything is fine now mm, we have to put the values we have to bind it in your holder later we have to bind these things using our binding methods 
okay so now at this time simply how can wind it we have a text view which kind of text view have we have a two kind of text view uh, one is your title other is your description and on this uh, your title be as a text view and i want with as an item view dot your mm, find view by id r dot id dot title well so that i am uh, i want to um, describe you because of we do not need on mvvm this kind of id accessing as you as i uh, told many times uh, in um, in my list view binding and other this uh, other tutorial so here it is a very simple text view and this is your item view dot find view by id r dot id dot description well so this is ready now the last is how we can pass the data so we want a news news object and here news list dot get and uh, each and every position that means 0 1 2 3 likewise that we have to put the values of our news and i want to show this on our holder dot um, title dot set text as a as a <coughs> news dot get title okay so that means whatever be our value of our news get title it would put it on that position and up to that size so simple description get description now this complete adapter be ready and how we can access it go to the main activity and use this your private custom adapter custom adapter and private i want with the list as an uh, news list because we have to pass the values be here this is your news list alt enter alt enter okay so here i want uh, adapter as this is your custom adapter and this is your uh, sorry this is your new custom adapter here i have to pass the array list value so for this new custom adapter i have to pass the array list value so make a constructor for this in which we have to pass a news news list this dot news list is equals to news list okay so here first we have to put the values of news that means this is your news list is this near new array list okay and then we have to pass this news list value be here and also we want a recycler view as a which kind of layout manager you have to put it that is our linear simple and also um, okay just enough and then you have to put this recycler view dot set adapter and that adapter be your recycler sorry custom adapter okay so that's be fine otherwise we have a lot of things for the recycler view but we discuss it later today i'm not want to show that what is recycler view it just be i'm using the recycler view with the simple uh, values and then use it in mvvm that's my video today okay so here set data alt enter create the values for the set data here we have to put just like you can set this set data comes from your uh, web services or a database whatever wherever be but here i am 
making as news news one new news and this is your title value this is a uh, title one and here I want to be the description this is title one and here we can say news list dot add news one that's fine so what to do just copy paste it and here we want to be the two we want to be the three this is your two this is your three this is your two this is your three okay and then say it is two it is your three so everything be here we have a bind we have a data we have our values we have a custom adapter we have a pozo news we have a inner layout now we have to cross check it using the jani motion and we can see that it's render or not then this is your simple approach recycler view we have to show like this inner layout pozo and your custom adapter now that is the most important thing what's when it's running then I will make the view model in it and then how we can use the view model and remove these things like your find view by ID and the rest of the things that I will show you okay so now it's be running or not yeah it's running so let's check Oh, shit. There is some issue. No, I think one is running here. Yeah. Let's see one minute. Okay, so what I am saying that uh, um, this is our main activity in which we have to bind uh, we have to use this custom adapter as you know well this is our data you get access from anywhere this is our news this is our inner layout and this is our custom adapter so everything should be in these three four uh, these four things for the recycling okay i think uh, it be ready yeah that's be fine we have a title one title two title three these three you can see on them uh, be in a recycler view forms okay so now um, uh, we have to work on mvvm approach so we make the video for that so how we can use it how we can apply it that's it so um, for that what we do our first term is we have to make our build gradle as we did it many times here we have to bind the data so we need a data binding here that is enabled is equals to true that's it this is our first step of binding <clears throat> close now for the minute okay so this is our data binding enable to our gradle is working and what we have our second step <coughs> If you watched my videos previous tutorials so our second step is after the data binding enable to we go for a new package 
in which we have to create our view model. So here we have a class This is our class, this is called your news model. Now, what we did it last time, we want to access this thing's behavior. So, this is our public uh, string title. I can work with this news as a uh, model also, but I don't want to that. Uh, I just want to create a news model be here. So as I told you that you can work with the news, um, a simple model class B make your model news model. But it's good to discriminate these two classes. So here make a constructor. Say okay. And here I want to be a news news so can we pass the values of our this to title is equals to news dot title and this dot description as a news dot description okay this we think our model be ready here I don't want any at this time events because of event already have shown on our list view on my previous tutorial if you want with the events then uh, i will describe you in other mvvm tutorials also but you 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 must see my previous list binding list view binding tutorial okay in which uh, i have applied the events okay now we go for that inner layout that is the most in interesting part so we do not need with this uh, Android ID title well and description well. We directly bind it data. So everything should be in a form of data binding values. So here it is our layout. And thus for layout, what we do, it's good. Give it to our layout. And this layout like this after the earlier layouts and under that we have a data here that is the most important because of I want to work with this so data give the class name here so I give the class name be here as a news binding that is most important when we access the bindings be everywhere we can access the things using this class name okay and here we have a variable and this variable name is your make it a news view or we can say news view okay so that's your variable and i want to access that class com dot model dot news model okay and this is our variable so we have set the values using this okay now we do not need the taxes for that a text value what we do is you add the rate and we access the values using this news view so this is your news view dot title here and news views dot description here so everything should be our in a well form for the data binding so i think this is uh, everybody know why we use this variable why we use this class okay so that is the most important this class is used to access the variable values from our POSO2 data uh, 
layouts okay but uh, sometimes it never show or it show the uh, red mark that this class is not there for this once you give the class that is the most important what i'm saying once you give the class name for the binding uh, rebuild this project because so can it make this class for your accessing possible because of most of the uh, students want where is this class name and uh, how we can access these things so this is the way once you give the class you just rebuild it okay so i think uh, that's be good now we come on our custom adapter in custom adapter how we can use this binding so you can see that i don't want the description values or likewise this values i just simply say private news binding you can see this class yeah is your news binding class we have a news binding class b here in our class structure okay now in our custom view i do not want this view because the view be changed at that time we, we access with this views as an uh, id or uh, i mean id of the title and id of the description but everything should be in a form of binding so what we do we do news binding as a news binding everywhere we have to work with this and here we have a news binding dot get root that means our base binding value where we the root of this and instead of because of my purpose is to show why we use this find view by id i do not want that i do not want this to accessing i do not want this text view because if we have a 10 or 20 text views to render we access this find view by id five view by id so that be redundancy of the code okay so for that for that purpose or for that reason we do not want this uh, multi values be here so because of you already work with this multiple times views finding view by id like that but here we do not want you just simply say uh, this dot news binding as a news binding okay and beside that we have to create two method that is the most important method uh, that is your public void bind and here we have to bind the data as a news model or news model kind so wherever be your model you can access that this and this dot news binding dot our you can see it that news as in news model that is the most important how we can access and, and how we want to show that so we have a public news binding news uh, sorry get news binding we as a return news binding okay so these things we and we have to bind the data here because of we have to show that before that what's the purpose we using these values and put it down in one by one like that if we as i told you we have a 10 more values be find view by daddy so there we have less the code of 10 values of find view by daddy and here we have to put it the holder for that those 10 values so that's also be a uh, multiple code values with there so what to do for that uh, we'll show you okay 
so now we go for this a uh, custom adapter here i do not want this news list i want a news list of a news model type this is our news model type okay so everything should be in a news model form and uh, one more thing i will show to you that is uh, this is your layout in later yeah that's good so i don't want to work with the view now i have to work with a uh, if layout in flitter is equals to null so what to do for that we need a layout in flitter as a layout in flitter dot from parent dot get context dot your inflate okay so uh, just a minute i think uh, we do not did all this layout because of we already worked with this okay leave it okay so now you just take it a layout from the parent dot cut concept that my mistake you just leave it and take a news binding because of we are working with the news binding so say news binding we have to show to you uh, how we can access the binding so say news binding dot inflate okay and that news binding dot inflate our layout inflator because of its uh, or you can use it directly layout inflator dot from parent dot get context and this is your parent and this is your false okay so this thing be ready so that's the important phase because we do not want with the return this view value we have to return this white bind value so we have to return okay show it here we have to return not this view value we have to return this news binding value that's most important and what we have done that means we have to create the layout inflator and uh, this is our return new custom view with in form of binding so everything everything should be in a form of binding now the last phase is how we can bind our data that is the most important so for that here we accessing the values directly now we have to access the value in a form of news model instead of news list okay so this is our new list dot get that's be the same position and how the news model be work so you directly access that holder dot bind our news model that's easy so our code be very less now everything should be in a form of these three methods do not need to make all these values be here do not want to be make the values be in your bind view holder so it's very easy code okay and uh, uh, yeah rest be the same now here because of we do not use this set data as in form of news we are working as in a form of which kind of news news model kind of news okay so for this 
what we do say news news model new news model where is our news model yeah uh, make one more constructor without parameter yeah that's fine so news model dot title be your first title and news model dot description be your this is first title and news list dot add our news model likewise that so if you want to add more models at this time we are accessing like this but we have other approaches also we will show you how can uh, make it this models be easy and also how we can use the observable classes uh, so can we can access it Packet. but it's very interesting mvvm approaches if you go for that if you practice on that you can achieve the things in a while uh, okay now everything should be fine now let's see again for the journey motion because of it takes too much memory and now i mean in my windows so i'm only access it when we need it so that is a very interesting part so what we did it simple steps nothing with this recycler view we just go for our news model access this news values in inner layout make a class news binding variable and type of the model type and here we have to pass these two values okay let's run okay so this is our uh, simple text view bindings here we bind the value of title bind the value of description and if you go for the custom adapter everything should be in custom adapter that is we use news model instead of news okay what we're doing with our recycler view journaly we access the model be there but what we have to work we have to work with that view model so this is our news model so we pass it and doing the news binding as we did it just like you go for that layout inflator and we need that inflate to bind it not a view binding because of in previous approach we have to make a view binding but here in this approach we make a news binding okay so that news binding is very good for accessing everything so here nothing we have to do with this code do not access each and every value you just access that particular value So Gradle is still running okay so this I mean till we'll describe to you so now here we have a great uh, a simple method that is called bind which kind of data bind we need it we need to bind the model this is your method okay and also this is your get news binding if you want it otherwise no need of that and uh, in your main activity we just simply make or set the data in the form of news model and then pass that data in your custom adapter as in form of news model so this things be very easy when we use the news model once you clear the fund of these basics and principles 
you can go for the more big projects very easy you can access the uh, apps uh, big apps and access the values easily on that with a less code and in well view model approaches okay so this is your first title and this is your second title okay so thanks for watching my video and uh, soon i will upload some videos related to the chat system or firebase and also some mebm observable classes how we can update the data how we can uh, access the data that's also be used on that okay uh, but today that's we wind up thank you so much